Hey guys, Bilingual Duelist here. So pretty much two months ago I made a video about the upcoming Black Luster Soldier Get Campaign promo card here in Japan. Just today the first copies are on the market and you can actually buy the card and boy was I wrong. The important thing to know here is that this card is going to be given out in a total of three waves with 1000 copies each. The first wave of 1000 copies finished being distributed just now. The next ones will be probably be given out in January 2024 and the last 1000 copies sometime in summer next year. So until we have the full 3000 copies on the market, there is still some time to pass. This is why I expected a very high release price for this card, because it is the only get campaign card which Konami did not give out all the 3000 copies at once. In the past, for example, this Prismatic Secret Rare Black Lesser Soldier had the exact same lottery ticket system for the distribution, but was given out in one big wave of 3000 copies. On top of that, it is a very unique card if you know about the OCG tournament prize card history. If you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out this video because I explain everything you have to know in great detail about this vanilla BLS which was only given out once in the whole OCG history. The most important thing to know here is that this card only existed one time as a stainless steel card and it still only exists one time and it was given out to the first place winner of a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament back in 1999. Okay, so now let's talk price. Here's a recent sale on Mercari for about 215,000 yen, which is about 1.4k USD. Other copies which are still available to be grabbed as of right now are sitting on the shelves starting from around 235,000 yen which is again roughly around 1.6k USD. My personal estimation was about 3 to 4k for this card and I can only tell you I'm very happy about the cheaper price, but I'm also quite surprised that I was off by this much. Since the card was also just given out one or two days ago, the prices could go down from here or could even catch up. I also have yet to see how the quality and the looks of the card actually are before I can decide to pull the trigger on one of these. Another thing that could potentially skyrocket the price of this card is a buyout by high-end collectors. Is it likely? Well, that's really hard to say, but I definitely see some potential in this card because of its history, which is also why I estimated a very high price for this card in the first place. If the price stays at around the current level, I will be grabbing one of these up when I have the chance and will show it to you on the channel. What is your opinion on this card? Is it decently priced right now? Do you think this is something you really want for your collection or is it just a cool gimmick but you don't really care? Let me know in the comment section below. And with all of that being said guys, this was all I had for you guys today. See you in the next one, your bilingual duelist.